I learned, I think I was, I don't know, 22 when I started that work. I learned that with the swipe of my pen, I could charge someone with the lowest level of offense. And because of the swipe of my pen, that person could be arrested. They could sit in jail for at least 48 hours. They could lose time from work and their family maybe lose their job. They'd have to come out of their own pocket to help hire a lawyer. They'd lose standing in their community. All because of the swipe of my pen. Weeks later, I could dismiss the charges, but their life would forever be changed. So I learned at a very young age the power. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, party people, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Oh, no, Kamala Harris, look out. Stephen A. Smith is calling you out. Mm-hmm. The big media juggernaut, Stephen A. Smith, is out here belly aching. Now, Joe Biden stepped down, stepped aside as the presumptive Democratic nominee on July 21st. OK, now I'm going to look at this right now. I'm looking at my calendar because I just want to make sure, you know, July 21st was a Sunday. We've had one week, two weeks, three weeks and one day since Joe Biden stepped aside. The only damn place we've seen Kamala Harris is at, is at pep rallies. What's up? Somebody got to say something. And it can't just be the conservatives. Right is right. I'm talking to my sister here. Come on now. You running for the presidency of the United States of America. You got my vote. You running for the presidency of the United States of America. What you hiding for? Well, see, there you go. There you go, Stephen. There you go. You over there already pledging your vote to her, regardless of what she says, whatever she does. So why would she interview with you? Why? She already said that she's not going to do nothing for the black folks. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. And then we have people like Joe Reed say if you don't vote for her, you're not black. Hey, fam. OK, I just got to say it. I just got to say it. Given the just stratospheric entrance of Vice President Kamala Harris into the presidential campaign, and she has now secured enough delegates to become the nominee, you're going to look real crazy being on the other side of that line, particularly as a person of color, but really as anyone who claims to have any connection to the culture. You're going to look real weird and real lonely on that side the door needs to close behind Amber. And she look crazy over there. But shut the door behind her. You really are going to look crazy being on that side, given the cultural phenomenon of Vice President Kamala Devi Harris. She's about to make history. So there's the guilt trip, okay? So why would she do an interview? Why? You're going to vote for her anyway. So. Let's hear some more. And I mean hiding in plain sight. Somebody got to say it. Somebody got to say it. Now, you can't be running for the presidency of the United States. Not one single press conference. 
Not one single one on one sit down interview where somebody gets to question you about the questions that we ask. That's not fair. That's not fair. And if you are conservative and you out there lambasting enough for it, ridiculing her for it, trying to torment her for it or whatever, it is perfectly within your right to do so. All of you anti-conservatives out there, shut the hell up. That's a valid point. It ain't valid to bring up a blackness or an Indian heritage and to try to point to things of that nature. That's nonsense. Oh, boy. Here we go with the color thing again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I have a theory and I'm going to share with you guys. Okay. I'm going through the TikTok. I watch a lot of black men, young black men, young niggas, and they're all saying they're not going to vote for Kamala. And there's one thing. There's one thing about Kamala that we don't like. She don't have no ass. What? Nope. 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 Now, if she's listening, Kamala, if you want to get the black man to come vote for you, you have to run down to Brazil and get a BBL. Mm-hmm. You got to get a nice, fat, round ass. That's the only way black man's going to come vote for you. You have no ass at all. You are a Indian just by your body structure. Yeah. You know, niggas love some ass. I don't know what's up with that. Big old round ass. If she had an ass like a regular AKA, you know, like an old school AKA, what, Camel is about 60, right? If she had a round, old, sagging ass, like an AKA, with the dimples and the cottage cheese legs, black man been running over broken glass just to vote for her. If she had an ass like Fonnie Willis, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she could threaten people and put them in jail. They'll still say, <laughs> she got some fat ass, though. If Kamala Harris saying she's going to raise gas prices to $10 a gallon, black man will be saying, damn, that ass though. If Kamala Harris says we're going to war with Iran, Korea, Russia, and only black man's going out there, black man be like, yeah, well, she got them damn yams, man. She got them yams. Woo. Them candy yams. Mm. Yes. So, Kamala, if you're listening, if you want black men to come vote for you, you got to get a BBL. You got to do it. I'm telling you, man, you have to do it. You got no ass at all. You're shaped like an Indian. So that's why we say you're not black. Kamala, if you go and get a BBL and you come out with some boy shorts and that little um, pantsuit with boy shorts on, Man, we are coming to vote for you. Me included. Yeah. Have a little tattoo on your ass somewhere. Right under the butt cheek. We coming to vote for you. That's the only way. Until then, I'm not voting for you. I'm not voting for you. That also reminds me. This also reminds me about Kamala Harris. Have you seen her in a black church? Baptist? I mean, something, Southern Baptist, because she's married to a, um, Kanye, help me out. I'm not going to say what race, what people, you know, I can't say that. Yeah. And your father is a Hindu. Your mama is a Hindu. What does that make you? I mean, I have not seen you in church. Nowhere. No T.D. Jakes, no Creflo Dollar. The Bible says in order for you to be blessed, your haters have to be present. How do I know that? The book of Psalms says he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So in order for me to eat, they have to be present. So God bless you, Bishop. I pray right now that you will continue to do everything you're doing. I pray his anointing will stay upon you. I pray the power of God all over you. I pray his favor. I pray the blood of Jesus will come upon you right now. Keep you in his hair. God, I thank you for your blessings. I mean, come on, man. What is this? You're supposed to be a black woman, you have no ass, and you don't go to church. 
So if you want to get the black vote, if you want to get black man vote, go get a BBL, come out with some boy shorts, yes! let that thing hang, let them yams hang, and go to Atlanta and take your ass to church. And work the prophecy. You got to work the prophecy. Come on, look at him again. Say, you got to work the prophecy. You got to work. This year, you got to stand up. You got to walk it out. That's how we going out of here tonight. Look at your neighbor and say, walk it out. They trying to act like they don't know what you referring to. Look at them and tell them, walk it out. Hey, now walk it out. 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 Okay. Come to church with a um a suit on, with some boy shorts on. Make sure you got a little tattoo. Something, something quaint, something small, like a, like a heart. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm telling you, black men come vote for you. You're gonna, you're gonna have a landslide. All right. If you're listening to me, if you want to have my little two cents. No. <laughs> well, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like, hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell Kamala I said hi. <laughs> you go, girl. So next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you AKs, get your ass off my lawn. <laughs>